Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will be going over uh, 2004 USAMO problem number 6. And here's a view of this problem. A circle omega is inscribed in a quadrilateral ABCD as can be shown on this picture. Let I be the center of this circle. And suppose the following equality condition holds. We would like to show that quadrilateral ABCD is in fact an isosceles trapezoid. The given condition reminds us of the Ptolemy's inequality, or in fact, in the case of a cyclic quadrilateral, Ptolemy's theorem. But it's not quite right because the circle is inscribed inside the quadrilateral. So in that sense, the quadrilateral is not cyclic. So what we need to do is to construct a new quadrilateral which will look like cyclic. In fact, this problem uh, was posed on HM, uh, HMMT as well a few years ago. I suggest that we construct point P outside the quadrilateral such that, and that's the crux move as I suggested, such that triangle ABP is similar to triangle DCI. So therefore, uh, before I do start with this construction though, let me uh, make sure that we have a good understanding of this picture. I is the center of the circle and as such we have equal angles here. So let me call these angles alpha each of them. So these two are beta. Um, let's call these as I guess gamma and these two angles as theta each. So therefore 2 alpha plus 2 beta plus 2 gamma plus 2 theta equals 360 or uh, simply alpha plus beta plus gamma plus theta is equal to 180 degrees. Okay, so the crux move as we said earlier is to construct a point P outside the quadrilateral such that uh, triangle ABP would be similar to triangle DCI so I just go ahead and construct my point somewhere here and I claim that uh, so this in this new triangle here um, this angle is simply gamma and this angle here is just theta so with that uh, I can make the following observation notice that on quadrilateral PBIA two opposite angles, namely angle A and B, add up to 180 degrees because uh, notice uh, that triangle angle PBI plus angle IAP equals um, gamma plus beta plus um, alpha plus theta which is already shown to be 180 degrees. So therefore this suggests that in fact points A, P, B and I are cyclic. So let me uh, try to draw a simple circle here. So something like that. There we go. So now given that these points this quadrilateral APBI is cyclic. I can now go ahead and apply Ptolemy's theorem. So I just say by Ptolemy. So therefore we have AI opposite sides multiplied and added. So AIBP is equal to, sorry, plus um, APBI equals um, ABIP namely the product of the diagonals here so ab times pi now having done that in the next step i will be doing some angle chasing here so um, let's see if we can uh, because of this cyclic quadrilateral i realize that um, this angle here bpi must be alpha as well because this angle subtends arc BI, but it, that arc is also subtended by angle BAI as well. In a similar way, 
I just realized that a minor arc AI is subtended by angle IBA, which is beta. Therefore, angle IPA should also be beta here. And finally, observe minor arc AP, which is subtended by gamma. It's also subtended by um, angle PIA. So that's also gamma. And finally, um, yeah, so minor arc BP is subtended by angle PAB, but it's also subtended by angle PIB. So therefore, this one is also theta. So with all these angles, this shows the presence of quite a few similar triangles. So I will make use of these similarities to replace some of these uh, variables to make um, to make this equation look like more our given condition here. So let's go ahead with the useful um, similarities on the next page. So I just carried what we did in the previous page here. All I did was divide both sides of this equality by IP. Now, as I said in the previous uh, uh, page, I will just search for some similar triangles and I can already establish two similarities. The first one is triangle, I realize IAP is similar to triangle ICB. And in fact, I can come up with some uh, some expressions to represent these two quantities over here and this inequality tells us that AI over I, uh, sorry, IP is simply equal to uh, IC over CB um, and also uh, and you can also observe that AP over um, IP is also equal to IB over CB. So what, well, once we substitute these quantities onto this expression, this equality conditions from the previous page, we come up, uh, we come across the following simpler form, which is BP times CI over BC plus BI squared divided by BC equals AB. Now as a second uh, similarity here, we can also see that triangle BIP is similar to triangle IDA and as a result we can uh, realize that, uh, so this would imply that BP over uh, BI for example would simply be equal to BP over BI is just IA over ID um, and as a result by substituting BP onto the above condition the condition further simplifies um, into a much tractable form namely you would get BI squared uh, plus AI over DI times BI times CI uh, would be equal to AB times BC. So I will carry this result to the following page and then we will start um, now to uh, our proof where we use this condition somehow to establish that the quadrilateral ABCD is in fact an isosceles trapezoid. So therefore this is what we have so far. Uh, the rest of the problem is actually an algebraic problem. And so before I begin though, uh, I would like you to notice that we can also come up with a similar result using symmetry here. In that case, we also know by symmetry that CI square uh, plus DI over AI times BI CI is simply equal to CD times BC. Now what I will do is I will simply add these two results. Um, and in that case, I will have the following thing. Uh, notice here that I have grouped these terms here for convenience sake. And in fact, I can now employ AMGM to notice that this expression in the beside parentheses is simply greater than or equal to 2 by simple AMGM application here. So therefore, this expression will further reduce into an inequality 
uh, uh, with this coefficient 2 as follows. Now notice that the left hand side of this inequality is simply a perfect square, namely it is uh, bi plus ci squared. Now notice here that because we have applied AMGM, we also know that the equality condition here will hold if uh, AI is simply equal to DI. That's a very important observation actually. Let me carry this result to a new page. Now I will also make the following claim that by symmetry it is also possible to come up with a new expression uh, which will mimic um, this one. All you do is you construct a new point, call it P2, and it will be, instead of using a certain set of similar triangles, it will use another one. And in that case, you will have a, um, a symmetric uh, representation of the following form. AD times AB plus CD again is simply greater than or equal to ai plus di squared and in this case uh, dido, 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 uh, in this case the equality condition will hold when bi is in fact equal to ci all i will do next is to add these uh, inequalities side by side and i will have this new inequality as follows so notice here that uh, I have grouped the left hand side conveniently because the terms A, B, C, D was common in both of these left hand side expressions. But however, notice also that the uh, left hand side is equivalent to A, B plus C, D squared. And that's true because recall that our quadrilateral there's a circle inscribed inside our quadrilateral this implies that ad plus bc is equal to ab plus cd so as a result the left hand side is simply equivalent to ab plus cd squared let me just go ahead and, and make sure uh, everyone uh, can uh, follow the reasoning here. So I will open the previous page. And on that page, I will quickly demonstrate what's going on. Uh, notice here that, let me use my highlighter here. So notice here that this length here is equal to this length. And also this length here is equal to this length. Um, well, that one is equal to here. And finally, this length here is equal to this length. So, as you can see, AB plus CD has one portion of each color. And AD plus BC has also one portion of each color. As a result, AB plus CD must be equal to BC plus AD. So, going back to our slide... We are now at a bizarre situation because we were able to find this very nice result where AB plus CD squared is greater than or equal to the sum of these two squares. However, the statement of the problem makes it clear that AB plus CD squared is actually equal to the sum of these two squares. That implies that our inequality actually holds as an equality condition, but I already established what must be done to for these inequalities to hold as equality so therefore both of these inequality conditions must hold as an equality therefore ai is actually equal to di and similarly bi is equal to ci now observing our picture again this simply tells you that again using the highlighter here we just realized that ai is equal to di and also, we notice that um, BI is equal to CI. But then this immediately establishes that these angles, we have two isosceles triangle. And as a result, this is therefore, uh, we can establish that actually angle alpha is simply equal to angle theta. And also angle beta is equal to angle gamma. But then... Huh? Uh, angle gamma here but then notice that um, alpha plus beta plus gamma plus theta is equal to 180 
but because of these facts as well it immediately implies that this implies that alpha plus beta is simply 90 degrees but then have a look at uh, um, the sum of the angle DAB and ABC from the picture it's clear that DAB angle DAB is simply 2 alpha and similarly angle ABC is just 2 beta but then these two, 2 alpha plus 2 beta is simply 180 degrees this suggests that BC is parallel to AD and further uh, we can also establish by the side lengths also being equal to each other uh, this immediately implies that we have an isosceles trapezoid because we have already established b is equal to gamma here so therefore 2 beta is equal to 2 gamma and similarly 2 alpha is equal to 2 theta and the, the sides are parallel to each other so therefore we sure enough have an isosceles trapezoid and that should um, solve the statement of the problem hope you enjoyed the solution see you in our next video